And this C-Class Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 64 kilogram division over three two-minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he's representing Fight Zone Gym in Bethnal Green, East London. It's Aditeo Sanjay Dushola! And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Jude Gym in Central London, it's the handsome killer, Amro Garnem. So the fifth contest of the undercar here at the Muay Thai Grand Prix. It's Aditeo Durashola in the black trunks, black gloves in the blue corner. And uh, Amara Ganem from Team Chu in the red corner with the white gloves. This one at 64 kilos, again C-class, before we move through to the K1 bouts this evening. And three two minute rounds. Adateo kicking hard right from the word go. He's, uh, I like that when someone comes into a fight and just says, Here I am, this is what I got. Bang, lovely right body kick every time it lands with big power. You can feel it, can't you? Explosive, isn't he? Yeah. Do a show up. Amro's got a nice style, nice technique, but he's getting beaten to the mark here at the moment. And a bit too relaxed for a three-round fight. You've got to be able to start quicker. It's not a five-rounder. You don't have the same feeling out process. We've seen a, a couple of contests this evening burst into life in the second after a quiet opening couple of minutes. But a uh, good start for Adi Durashola here. That was a better kick there from Amro. Call him the handsome killer. I don't know who they is. I think he made it up himself. <laughs> well, certainly a flamboyant character. Confidence in the entrance as well. Yeah, he's a good guy. He was with uh, he was with the team when we all went out to uh, Iraq. Funny, funny guy. Loves the sport, loves training, lives for it. He's just working his way back into this round after a good start from Adi Durashola. And in that body kick at the end of round number one. But the front leg of Ganem is yeah. severely reddened inside and out as a result of those stinging kicks that the majority of which landed in the first minute of this contest yeah which means they land with full power and they landed clean uh, those sort of things can take their toll and you don't want to be taking hard shots like that this early in a fight <coughs> well ever <laughs> ever absolutely but i suppose especially in a, a five round contest when you've got a little bit more time ahead of you so Amor again in there in the corner of team chu team chu carlton new as well right hand side of your screen he's been a, a fabulous fighter to watch and has really made a, a kind of home base for himself here at the indigo 02 over the last three years since the start of the muay thai grand prix seconds away we look forward to seeing him back in action soon as well and round number two here Adi Durashola from Fight Zone in East London, Bethnal Green. To the left of your screen. Starts around number one. And Roganem. Swing momentum back his way. Long left. Good low kicks coming in there from Amro now. Look, he's working the lead leg. He's felt the sting on those and said, you can have some back, my friend. 
Ryan's in there. And going to show that. Ganem has much bigger legs over the two as well. Or maybe just smaller shorts. Who knows? <laughs> nah, he's got a good build. And he can kick. Yeah, look at the left leg of Ganem there. Really starting to flatten as he touches down with it, which is, as you say, an indication of the stinging shots of Dirichet that landed well, putting investment in the bank by jumping knee there, Jesse Saunders looking on. Now, see class rules. Yeah, no knees to the head, so... Be careful, isn't he? It's Ganem just driving that knee in, in the clinch. Referee Jesse Saunders... Uh, you see um, Adateo's legs, he's, he's got those shins that are just like pencil thin. Mm. Absolute agony when they hit you. <laughs> solid, solid quads and he's clearly an explosive fighter. As you can say, see, driving through that point. Yeah, you can see uh, Ambrose put him on the back foot now though. And, and he's taken the centre of the ring much, much better for me. His position is much better now. He's pushing his man back against the ropes. Whereas uh, Adadeo was more aggressive in round one, coming forward and pressing the action. In that round, for me, he was being pushed back the whole time. So in the balance then, this one with a round to go. So we'll look at some of the action through round number two. Yeah, nice, nice control there from Ganem. Just telegraphing some of those body kicks a little, and just a couple of times was caught and counted. Yeah, he doesn't set him up. He doesn't use his hands to set him up. He just throws the kick first. That was a lovely knee, actually. That that jumping knee. Hence the ref didn't say anything. It was nicely placed across the the body. White and red T-shirt with the cap, Jose Barrera. Yeah. Here we watch corners. Uh, Ten his seconds. First major title here. Two years ago now. Yeah, I miss Varela. He's uh, such a character. Fantastic guy. Crazy fighter. So, third and final round then. Oof, I don't have a smile on me. Face of Durashola there as that one whistled past the whispers. Nice turn there. It's a nice turn, but there's a bit of a pause. See here, he, he did the turn and trip and then paused and then tried to knee him on the ground. And it has to be a. Was, was firm with him there. Yeah, it, it has to be a continued movement that you're doing already. It's not a case of if you hit the floor, you can kick him in the head. <laughs> no, good, good, solid referee, I think. There was no uncertain turn. Couldn't hear what he was saying, Saunders, but the body language was uh, headmaster and student there. Right? Yeah. Has to be one of the best referees out there at the moment. Gannon now stalking forwards, do a show that just circling around the outside of the ring as he's waiting for that body kick. Tries the knee in there, that Gannon. Was lovely. Nice little step through left knee there from Gannon, and he's coming awake now. Morella slamming his fist down on the canvas, screaming to a shoulder forwards, low kick there, just a little off balance, Gannon. Yeah, if Amro would just set his, set his hands a little bit more instead of this throwing his glove out, just testing the rain, he needs to throw his jab in his face so that he doesn't see the kick coming. Be much better. So he came in just uh, perhaps a little low there. And then Suck it up, boys. This is Muay Thai. <laughs> you carry on. But look, for me, look at how uh, Ganem is backing his man up right against the ropes and Varela telling him, circle out, get out of there. But Ganem just pushing his man back, stepping in with the knees nicely. And Ganem is uh, he's been caught low again. He's clearly in some pain. He came out of the corner yeah, a moment this, ago. It must have been a hard shot there because Jesse Saunders will always keep the action moving but that must have been a bit of a foul for him to give a break like this. 
course, in boxing, the five minute rule. Yeah. Got hit low. Doesn't stand in Muay Thai. No. See, Ganem just doesn't throw his hands first. If he just did that, it would be perfect oh, for me. He's in low again there, and you could see that one land, and Ganem is playing there and I think rightly so to be honest with you Dave. I don't yeah, think there was, that was three any warnings. particular intent but he has landed low three times in the same round now. Yeah. Three warnings, he's got to take a point off him. That's only fair. But I think to be fair it was Ganem's fight there. He started so strong. Uh, for me Adateo started really well. Um, but Gan uh, Ganem strongest in the end. Jose Varela lifted his man aloft there. He himself was lifted aloft for his major title win here going to a couple of years ago. But with that point deduction and the momentum of the contest, I wonder whether his man will get the decision or not. But uh, Peter Lowe, the World Master of Ceremonies, is standing by with the judges' scorecards and referee Jesse Saunders brings the fighters to the centre of the ring. Let's get the result. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both these men, please. And after three rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner, fighting out of the... Red corner, it's Amro, the handsome killer, Garnem.